Hello and welcome to episode 10. We have spent the majority of the day on Highway 169 going through Kansas, but now we're in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We're not in Kansas anymore. Tulsa, Oklahoma. Well, we're not quite in the radio yet. We're on the side of the road. We are having some moments today. See these orange cones? They're behind our truck. That used to be our tire. Had a blowout. So yeah, we're on the side of I-35, probably 35 miles from the Laredo Terminal. Since I have a little free time on my hands, let me tell you about my day. Well, we're going through Dallas. And actually, in a few moments ago in the video, that kind of arch St. Louis looking sort of thing that was on there, Bill was recording that. I was admiring it. And you can see in the video, I rode right by my ex. And I noticed the sign said, Freeway Ends, which we got to a, a downtown sort of like area and that's kind of a no-no a lot of those areas are restricted to trucks and there's big fines if you go in there if uh you know you're not delivering a load i didn't see any you know truck restrictions so there won't be any any fine involved uh but it took a little while and a few turns to get back on our way and then shortly <coughs> after that headed to waco i noticed a little fog a mile or so later Man, I couldn't hardly see anything. I did my set, you know, uh, countdown. I had less than four seconds of visibility at 55 miles an hour. But fortunately, trainer Bill, trucking professional that he is, had some yellow lens glasses, and I put those on, and I could see significantly better with the yellow lens glasses. But uh, we made it on through unscathed. And then, just about an hour ago, I'm traveling, I got my cruise control set about 67 miles an hour, making good time. And uh, another US Express truck passes me and is in front of me. And for all you that drive little four wheelers, you know when an 18 wheeler with trailers in front of you, it blocks your view for a while. As I'm driving, normally I'm looking a quarter of a mile down the road for things that are coming. There's so much to pay attention to when you're pulling 80,000 pounds and you're 70 foot long. Well, there was a tour bus, like going to Mexico, it had a Mexican riding, merging onto the interstate, so I needed to, to get over, because he was coming. Well, I look in my, my mirror, and there's a red Ford Ranger right about where my back tires are. I'm like, oh my goodness. If I would have had a lump of coal between my butt cheeks, I would have had a diamond. It was a tense moment. So I had to get over about three foot, and, well, th this bus is about a foot from me, and then the, he goes on by, and, boy, everything's cool. It probably 
shook up a few tours headed to Mexico. But it's been a crazy day. Um, I don't know how long we're going to be sitting here on the side of the road. I got the triangles out. Bill's gone to get the rest of our tire. And um, I think U.S. Express has plans in place when uh, this happens and sends someone out to change your tire for you. Mm -hmm.